everybody and welcome to a new Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, new video, that door is open. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me here. Um, we're, today we're going through all of my absolutely favorite shows as a kid and movies that were not my, not rated for, for me at that age, but... I still watch them because my parents believe more, well, on um, uh, most of these shows, my parents believe more in the, the, the science behind some of the, the shows or the movies, where su like the superhero movies and stuff we, we watch as kids. I only have a, a certain amount of superhero ones on here uh, because uh, basically my only my absolute favorite at the time um oh now i love all the superheroes spider-man you name it but i've seen them all when i was very very young okay so um i have youtube up here so we're gonna also watch the trailers while we do it so the first one i have on one of these pages should i do the the these ones right now or should i do Let's do uh, these, okay. The ones I watched way, way, way before I be even was ten. So, uh, the first one is MythBusters. The so this is the one with still Adam and Jamie, um, Jesse, God rest her soul, and all those those other. People, I forget their names. Um, I think one was Tyler, and yeah. Um, so we're gonna watch the trailers for them, just because you guys will have no idea what some of these shows are because only we, we. I'm I'm so old that I I know what some of these shows are already. Um, MythBusters. <coughs> Yeah, uh, Jesse Combs. Uh, God rest her soul. Uh, trailer. Um. Mythbusters season 8. Okay, let's just watch the season 8 one because it's on YouTube right now. So that's basically what they all did. They did science, the uh, science myths, like myth, they they did science stuff that that happened in movies and stuff, and tried to see if they were real or not. It was a really cool show. My five to nine year old brain loved it before, and I don't know what age they it was when they broke. When the, the team disbanded, and now it's juniors and or not juniors. Now it's a new team of MythBusters, which I haven't watched because nothing can beat this. Nothing can beat this. But they always argued apparently and whatever. So, but it's none of my business. Next one is Harry Potter. Now, please excuse my dyslexia. Uh, I. Don't know how to spell. Spell? Not spell. Spell. Like, 
We all know the bad guy. No, we're not watching all the trailers, just the Philosopher's Stone, not the Sword, not the Sorcerer's Stone. What's your favorite snow? Fuck off, abs. This is rated PG, so parent guidance, so this is like 13 and up. But we watched it, I watched it when I, it came out. Anything you couldn't explain? Which this one came out back in 2001. I was four years old and I watched this. I was, okay, everyone's gonna hate me now for saying this. And I love, I love uh, Star Wars now, but I never watched it when I was a kid. That's why it's not on this list. Because I, and now I'm wa watching it and it's so confusing with how it goes backwards in the episodes where stuff like this, like, was like, how, uh, it, like, in order and it made sense to me. That's part of my autism, but I don't let it define me kind of thing. But I also love magic, so. Hey, a wizard. I always wanted to go, like, I, I was always waiting for my letter in the mail when I was, when I turned 12 or 13 or whatever age he was. Like, I want to go to Hogwarts when I, because, and I would never stop talking about wanting to go to Hogwarts. It was amazing, this, this experience. And I wish that the, they would finally come out with the one about his son, oh, spoilers. If you haven't seen it, I don't know who hasn't already, but if, uh, for those younger kids, he, he ends every story in, uh, in a trilogy, or in a, not a trilogy, whatever it's called, a, a series, they end up h hitching down and, and having a family. But um, I want him to come up with a story, the stories about his, his son, a, in uh, school, in in when yeah in Hogwarts. It's been so long. I haven't even. I don't even want to see Fantastic Beasts because that's not the main story. I want to hear. I want. I love the main story. So dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, I love it. I miss it so much. That was rated PG as well. Um, so next one is you. No one will know what this is. That that is younger than than me. Not even my editor will probably know what this is. Hey Austin, I I don't even know if you watch the videos yet while you're editing, but.
he's uh, I hope it's not wrong to give out your age. He's he just he just uh, turned an adult like three years ago. So that's as much as I'm gonna say. So. Shark Boy and Lava Girl trailer. And you guys will have no idea. <clears throat> and at this age, this was out in 2005. And this is rated G, so guidance. So this is 13 and up. But, uh, stupid ads. But, uh, th there was mostly because. Um, uh, when I actually watch this, it's more like I'm of age to know what uh, know that I like girls, and and love a girl was really in my in back then hot, but now it's like demeaning. So I never seen Adam's family, so go away. Tastes like dust. Okay. At first, he expressed some pushing on his own. As a child, he'd been stuck for food by his family. He was so adventurous, he learned to ride by night. He grew gray and thin, his teeth became sharp, and he wanted to stay in shape. Then, one night, a wizard got a glowing girl. The spirit makes him nervous. He told me he said, come to take shelter in that dead home. Now it was me. Because something terrible was happening there. That was the last time I saw it. What could I did this for? We were supposed to tell true stories. But we were the true story. How many people say that's a story is true? Not a story. Made up. Everyone always knew that Max had a wild imagination. No! There's no such thing as shark boy and lava girl. What they didn't know. Was it was true? Speaking of Spy Kids, that's the next one on my list. So that that's my that's another one we watched as kids and that was rated G. Spy Kids is next because it and it was by the same um, producer or director or whatever. They said um, I didn't know that when I made this list and when I when I was younger, I just I didn't even pay attention to like directors or producers back then. I don't know why they have it on a kids movie. Uh, just the one, first one, please. I've seen them all, but... Mm. Yeah! Oh, fuck off ads. <laughs> Sorry, Austin, this is going to be a long video. Not, not what I'm showing, but... about that about our parents. 
So the moral of the story is they were supposed to be they were supposed to go into the family business when they were older, but they just in case they had special uh, stuff made up for when they are this age and then something went wrong and they had to use it. So that's basically what the premise of this, the Spy Kids is. And then they, they, they did so well that they, they just were Spy Kids like throughout the, the whole series. It's about like, I don't know how many movies of this is out already. Brothers, sisters. Okay, good enough. I, I want people to actually go to these so okay next one now we're getting into like kind of like when I was like seven or eight when they uh, when they actually came out uh well Spongebob has been around longer but I don't know how to spell Bob really well I put it in lowercase that's why okay and it was really early when I wrote this. Okay, so yeah, I've, I, I, the, all the Spider-Man movies I've seen so far, except for the newest one. So, ah. uh, dyslexia, please don't fail me now. Okay, this is probably going to give me the, the movie, right? SpongeBob's coming to video and DVD. With ten episodes that are something to see. His body is yellow and his pants are brown. If nautical tails make you get up and dance. Carries a snail, not a hound. You'll be splitting your sides. You'll be splitting your pants. No hope for things like we waste less than a pound. Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a coming for the first time. So that's all I'm gonna play. That one. Um, that was rated TVY, which the old ratings. Those are old ratings. Um, so TV Young is what it was so and then uh, like a bunch of these are um uh, tv young uh so next is everyone's favorite and then there's also some people who like are like um very very like uh, pet friendly and they hate what they how they were put in balls or whatever uh, in the in uh, uh, in the So this is the one that I watched when I was a kid. Like a we re 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 like the first thing I remember watching on TV besides movies. Uh, What's up, Pokemon fans? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Excuse me, excuse me. Let's just op watch the opening theme. How about that? Clap. Guaranteed strong. Because it's kind of.
found him a trailer before the yeah. Okay, so that's Indigo League, which I know that there was Pokemon way before my time, but I watched Indigo League as a kid, and I go back to it and actually watch it. Hopefully, they don't sue me for that. I mean, I, I think the new rule is now 25 seconds, and I only played like 23 seconds, so good. Okay, okay. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, another one like from Japan, I'm guessing. Uh, was one that we watched. I won't remember it, so I won't even go back to it now. But uh, I don't even. I I know that there's a new one on on TV, but we watched the old ones because how old we were at the time I don't know which one was which but basically you had a, a, a card thing on your arm like this one right here if uh, if Austin can zoom in on this picture or maybe I can find a picture of it online um, or he can just add it into the video and then you you played cards on it like it was a monster kind of Thing. And I had Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I was like, only a select couple. Um, and you played monster cards, you would fight other players, and of course there's always like the bad guy in Pokemon and in Yu-Gi-Oh, um, where they were, you would keep coming back to them in the show and uh, they, would, they would fight each other often. Um, but, and then there's gyms and stuff, and then you had this thing on your arm that you would play, and then it, it's a long story. You have to actually watch the show to understand it, but uh, from what I remember, and then monsters would appear on the, the field, the playing field. Um, yeah, hopefully Austin's uh, gonna do some, like, my editor is gonna do some um, actual, like, frame by frame editing soon and uh maybe it'll be in there or just or just watch the show because it's a, it was an awesome show when i was a kid i don't know about now there's a new one out and i don't want to spoil my childhood if it should spoil my childhood um so okay next now this show is off the air too no one will know what this is because that are, is younger than me um Gods. <clears throat> this is a rated teen show because there was like swearing and they were talking about inappropriate things like poop and it's basically that are journeyest jobs in America or and, and they ran all that. Uh, actually, they, yeah, they ran out of dirty jobs in America with Mike Rowe, of course. So they had to go around the world after that. So, um, it's basically this guy named Mike Rowe who I knew as a kid, not personally, but like I knew his name if someone should men ever mentioned his name. I knew who they were talking about because I watched Dirty Jobs like crazy and due to my like rated PG-13-ish uh, rating that I'm trying to keep, uh, I can show this but the YouTube rules I would be very hesitant but like all these shows and movies that I I talk about go watch them because there's they were they they 
that was my childhood. I didn't have, I wasn't able to have video games or a cabin to go to. It was either watch TV movies or we went on trips to like Florida and, and uh, across like uh, almost everywhere. Or we almost went everywhere in the northern half of the states and and um and we went to mexico and it was i like uh, i didn't have video games i couldn't have like we couldn't buy video games plus have all the, this fun uh childhood like disney world all these things i hope i don't get get copyrighted even for mentioning their name but we went, we went, we went traveling more than, than we settled down and, 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 and um, just played a video game. That's why I wanted to do this as a job because whenever I went to my friends' places, which I'll be doing one on video games uh, soon, I'll just watch the trailer for the video games. Um, uh, basically, that's what we did as a child. If we uh, we would go and play video games um, at our friend's place. And then when and I'll be uh, I'm just mentioning this now because it's all in the, it's fresh in my mind. And I'm going to be talking about this in my video games um, kind of review thing that I'm whatever this is going to be called. Um, we basically just like went over to the our friends' places, of course, and then when we were we we became, I was of course much older, but when when my siblings became teenagers, where you actually get that teen status, not like twelve or or eleven kind of thing, we actually got a um, a we. Um, and we we got games for it. I wasn't really good at the Wii games, cause my my um, my only game like the only games that I played on Wii at the time because all my friends had Wiis in elementary school. Um, was mostly um, like Call of Duty and like the first five or. That, that were like missions based not like um, co-op like like join a party of, uh, uh, or join a map with people on and shoot each other it was more like shooting zombies shooting uh, like mutant dogs and stuff and and that was that, that's why I don't play any more Call of Duty games besides the ones that I already have because they're not mission based and I as you know I like sh I like games that are mission based more than than ones where you just sh shoot each other shoot your friends or shoot uh, uh, like people that are online um, so uh, there's um, that but um and then I got an Xbox 360 when I was like 16. And then I splurged on a one. So after I also splurged on my first computer that I owned personally. So now I have a PS4 and a three is 360 a one. Uh, PS2, a PS1, a PS, well, not, that's all the PlayStations, and then I have like a Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, I have, um, a GameCube, um, Next one, so that was the that page. I'm really unorganized in this book because, 
And I'm, I, there's probably a bunch that I missed too. Now we're getting into like more like adultish anime, like not anime, but cartoons. Like the next one is the. give us the game or not the game the movie again isn't it is that what it's gonna do okay a promo from 1989 so yeah like the funny the funny part is they never the kids never grow up in these movies or these movies these TV shows, like, they're always, like, the same age. Because fans don't like change, but they always do, like, clips going into the future, going into the past. Um, so this is the promo Time thing. for the family portrait. Over! Okay, here we go. This one is going to be the Simpsons at our finest. Smile, look cheerful. Here we go. Yeah, so there, there is that. Well, and and I, I haven't. I only saw them when they like when I, after I was born, which was in ninety seven, nineteen ninety seven. So I was a flood baby, <clears throat> because in Winnipeg there was a big flood that year, nineteen ninety seven. Okay, so. Next, so that that animation made no sense to me. Where the newer ones do, like, like, um, like this animation, more or less. If uh, Austin's doing the uh, uh, frame by frame analysis, you'll s uh, or you can zoom in with your Opti tools or whatever in. in uh, on your computer, but that was more or less. Okay, next one, which I kind of already like showed off a bit, was
Okay, so yes, there's a lot of like, hate for shows like like The Simpsons, The Family Guy, or Family Guy, um, on like most of this on my list. But uh, and most some of this I even I just started watching like uh, when I was actually an adult. But Family Guy, Simpsons, American Dad, Robot Chicken. Um, which okay, and I forgot to. I've been forgetting to like do the actual um, uh, age range. So where did I leave off even? Um, so yeah, th um, okay. So SpongeBob was TV Y, TV Young. Uh, Pokemon uh, Indigo League is TV Young. Yu-Gi-Oh! is TV Young. Uh, Dirty Jobs is Teen. Uh, Simpsons is PG-12, but we watched it way before we were 12. Um, Family Guy. I got, a lot of, uh, got into a lot of trouble from watching Family Guy. I still watched it. And same with a lot of these shows. Like The Simpsons... All those shows, my okay. Uh, to give some context to this, the, the that's um that kind of thing that we had in our, our house. My mother, uh, who I'm not going to mention my any name, uh, is was um or grew up in a household that was. You don't swear, you don't say uh, inappropriate, negative, or any of those things about anyone. And just, and, and, like, be nicer, don't say anything at all, kind of thing. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. And... A lot of times, parents will will uh, teach you the way that they were taught, which is not always right. Especially with the whole thing about like kids getting spanked and stuff is not a thing you do anymore. You don't lay an ill finger on your child at all. Um, um, but like that's how I was raised. And, um, and like, and even like the toys, I'm going to, I should do, and bring in my, uh, bring my toys here and, and do a, do a thing on, on like what, like the toys that I grew up as kids even, because this, this whole series of different, uh, things we, 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 did as kids or could go on forever. Um, my toys are different from what my father had. My father had something that only your parents will know about probably is wood burning kits, um, which I actually used one. So, uh, in, uh, when I was in, uh, in, Scouts, as people will now call them, or something. Um, but this one, this Scouts was through church, so when I actually believed in that stuff, because um, you were, you were, and like what, and like I say, and my mother was, a, uh, would go, would be in, in church all the like every waking minute. They read the Bible. They. They, they did devotions, they did, they did Bible study, they did all that, and I'm like, that's great, but, and that's not what I'm going to get into, but that's basically why I, uh, I had to sneak and watch these shows, especially, like, Robot Chicken was the other one on, on my list, another one on my list here that I had to, like, sneak watch 
when I because I was like three years uh, be, before the actual age range to watch it, and also my mom just didn't like the show in general. She didn't even she do, doesn't even know what the show is. I mean, my mother could could judge something because she just didn't like the the way something was kind of um, portrayed as like the the whole song by what's his name. Um, God Kiss Me Jesus by Bob Bobby Bear. The, she she didn't like she didn't like that song even though she didn't she, she didn't even listen to it she didn't even know what the what the lyrics were she just heard God kiss me Je Jesus through the goalposts of life and then she she right away assumed that it was it was knocking on her religion or whatever or like and then like well it's actually it actually is a religious song it's not. Um, yeah, but whatever. And then, uh, like, children are forced to, um, believe whatever their parents believe. Like, for the longest time, I believed in my, my dad's par political party. Uh, I believed in in their same religion uh, as them and other things that they they either lied about or uh, as parents you have to lie a little bit um, or just like in general like there's things that, that were not always true that my parents would say or do or whatever and then are there hypocrites or whatever the case may be and uh, then you find out in life that's not how life is the way your parents taught you was often wrong because they didn't know how to like they didn't know how to parent because no there's no book on parenting that yes, there's a one to three magic and all that back when I was a kid and they, they tried to push it on me or transformation, whatever. Um, uh, for like people with uh, mental Ill illness or, or stuff. That wasn't a, that what no doctor can, no doctor can, can, uh, narrow in on a situation that a kid's having because it's different for everybody. Like autism, like what I have is different for everybody. What, and I always say I'm the most normal autistic anyone's ever going to meet because I can, I can live on my own. I can, I can feed myself, cook, clean, bathe, keep up with all my personal hygiene, everything. Uh, but no, n uh, the, 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 nowadays people are so brainwashed into thinking, oh, we can't do anything. We like, that's why we can't and get real jobs. And, um, like be what they consider like, a normie, a normal person, as we call them, uh, because they think that 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 they need special insurance, they need all this, uh, and they also think, oh, we're lazy or we can't actually physically do it. I've had friends that could actually do things on their own, but parents or um, 
the society would kick them down and they kick society kicked me down and um it's and also like the school division and that now I'm starting to say schools for the week and um because it is like you don't need school to do this I enjoy doing this and if people want to watch that's fine I'm not going to force people to watch I'm not going to um, like come to your house and force you to watch me but I, I mean I, I enjoy doing this and I enjoy it when I enjoy it just as much as if people watch or if people don't watch it um, it'd be nice if people watch because then I can actually do more things uh, like voice acting um, like more videos like pranks and and challenge videos and all that and get some like cameras and and stuff to do all that um, but what can you do okay so the next one is so that was uh, family guys rated 14 and pg-14 uh, plus uh, American Dad, who I, which makes no sense why, is rated PG-16, which we're typing in now. And yes, also I know that there's, um, there's these shows are still on the air, but there is a time when some of these shows were cancelled and they only came back because there's public outrage from like the community the, that they uh, were targeting throughout the uh, years uh, and uh, yeah so that's why a lot of these are, are back or So American Dad, uh, I probably won't be able to find an actual like, because these are these are all TV shows and there's not really a TV trailer, a TV show trailer. It's more like a promo and a lot of time the promos are not actually yeah. So there, there's this family who kind of inherited inherits an alien or not inherits um kind of the the dad wor works for the CIA and he uh he, he uh kind of breaks the rules a bit by having an alien living in uh his house uh but and she's always or he well it's an alien it's always out and and doing things like uh in disguises, of course, like you see here, uh, that's the the darker uh, tanned woman uh, is in the disguise. Well, that's this alien here, um, just dressed up in one of his cosplay things, and they have like really. Like, and it, like a lot of these shows now, I watch and I'm cringing so hard because it's 2019, and yes, I even I'm trying to like be appropriate, like, um, yeah. Uh, so there, so I'm cringing at the jokes that they're making, but they can because that's how the this like that's how the 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 comedy was in these shows since the very beginning, so and I'm not gonna play uh, any uh, even though like uh, 
Because, I, like I said, I still want to keep my um, my ratings uh, the way they are. I tried to at least. Like, this is season 13. They've been going on for a while, too, so. And it's a lot of these are done by the same producers and and actors and stuff. Um, yes, and I know there's also like the Cleveland show and stuff. We never watched it because uh, we watched Family Guy, so. Um, another one that I like that I mentioned, which is on uh, Common Sense, which is a, like, um, it kind of rates movies and TV shows. Robot Chicken was rated 16 and up. And, um, uh, and um, Common Sense uh, also has like the parents rating and the kids rating and a lot of them were very similar and the kids would actually rate lower than the parents would so uh, I would actually trust that more uh, uh, or like what I mean is like if the parent rates it 13 and up the, the kid and uh, the kids rated it like 16 and up so and in common sense gave their ultimate ruling and it all is shown on the actual like um, uh, site there. And again, it gets on Adult Swim, and th this show I think is canceled, uh, or like they're not doing any more, uh, which is exactly what canceled mean, uh, means, I know. But that, yeah, they're not doing any more uh, episodes of this. I think it was two left. Uh, inappropriate content so and then when I uh, when I um, I own uh, this next show I only started watching when I was like 16 uh, was I think when I started watching it which is uh, which was rated PG 15 on adults or not on adults on common sense but um, on the TV provider always rates it like 18 and up and then they like some uh, shows that or some stations they have like an uh, age warning where you actually have to uh, say that you're of age and and then then they it has to get authorized by a pin and uh, that your family ends up setting up but uh, here we go so
So, yeah, like, that's kind of like the comedy, but it goes in deeper, and there's actual games out that are, are actually surprisingly open. I mean, the, 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 the game producers are open to uh, different religions, different different orientations, different sexualities, all that stuff, uh, genderality and stuff. Um, uh, the games, though, which I'm planning on playing, uh, will be more or less like there's there's always some people in the show that don't believe everything that other the other characters do or whatever uh there's th like there's rednecks in the town of um what even town is this well south park yeah um and it's hilarious it's hilarious but it's it's like a, any other show, basically. I don't know how to explain it without, like, digging myself into a hole. But, yeah, Kenny... There's a story about Kenny uh, where... Uh, and this is, like, public knowledge and not ruining this show in any way. Uh, they originally wanted to kill off Kenny forever, but he and... Uh, I don't even know... If um, um, this person uh, ends up dying and coming back every every show, every like episode. So uh, because it's the, just the comedic value, and he never take or it. Um, they never take off their. Uh, jacket so you don't actually know anything about him and he's always muffled or it um uh, they're always muffled so I'm sorry and I I it's hard to uh, talk in the third person about just someone in general um not actually like he, she, me, we kind of thing. Um, because I don't want to like get in trouble for whatever I say. And remember, I, this this whole like new uh, generation of like only happened when I was over the age of 18. So I, most of my life I've been talking like, uh, because most of my life, it was actually acceptable to just say he or she or, or that kind of thing. Um, now it, now it's like harder for anyone who's grown up using, um, what was normal to them now to change. So please keep that in mind before you castrate me uh, so next one is Rick and Morty and, and this one's rated at PG-16 even though like they it's basically a drunken grandfather it's space odyssey like comedic and Uh, without giving away too much, and there's not there. I don't think there was any like swears. It's been like two years since they since a new episode. I've seen the new episode because they're taking so long to release. Well, they they already released it. It looks like um, season four on Adult Swim. Uh, but I don't think there's any swears. They just imply things, but no one, no kid is ever going to get it. So I would say that there should not be a rating on it. But again, it's been a while, so don't take me 
uh, seriously there since I seen uh, one and I, again uh, I'm not going to play it just because but it, Rick and Morty uh, is, is a show that I wa started watching recently because it's a newer show. It's only, it only has season four. Uh, or season four is just coming out now on, on Adult Swim. Uh, that's a, Adult Swim is a channel that has all these like, inappropriate like, shows that, yeah, kids still watch it, but without their parents' permission kind of thing. Which is, yeah, whatever. Okay, so. And it's basically just a drunken grandfather and his grandson going on a, uh, adventures together. It's not that bad, but for the sake of trying to keep this at least uh, yeah, I'm going to move on. Okay, next one that we actually grew up watching before we were the age of 10 was <laughs> they have all like the kids version of all like the kids shows things I type in I am um, season one yeah well, there's it's a movie there's no seasons So I actually own this on DVD. It's at home right now, at my parents' home. Um, but the, this movie is, the, yeah, PG, four, or, or no, it's adult 14. So there's adult humor, adult, it's not really humorous, it's actually really sad. Um, adult content in this, uh, movie. It's about like the zombie apocalypse and and like I love this movie. Like this was the one of the movies we watched over and over again as a kid and we'd go to school talk about all these shows and, and movies and stuff we watched and We probably got some heads turning, but we never noticed because we were kids. We didn't care. Um, Nothing that can away was supposed to happen. There's been mutations. human behavior is now entirely absent. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York. Yeah, so basically, um, 
and it was about the 20, uh, what would ha uh, happen in 2012, uh, but it never happened because a lot of what news pastors say is complete and utter bullshit. <clears throat> okay, next one is, uh, well, there's not really a trailer I'm not going to go through all the, the, the trailers of all the things that we watched from uh, Batman because, um, well, there was like Batman Begins, there was the, the um, TV show, uh, the like cartoon t show, t TV show uh, of Batman. There was like a lot of. Um, different things like that yeah, and it, as you can see their mannequin scenes uh, I just ignored those because I hate mannequins so there, there was a lot of and then there was like a lot of bat, different Batman movies that we watched then uh, and TV shows and then and then uh, like when I got older like Gotham came out and then I was like come on you're milking this a little too harshly uh, and how long Garth Gotham actually is, is still going on. Like, he's still a kid in Gotham. He's not actually grown up yet. So, there, there's all that. Anyway, um, I don't have a rating for that one because I wrote it down in, in, in fast and, yeah. So, then there were, there was one last one so like this is the last thing okay i only watched this recently because they're only on season three uh so like when i became 18 which i suggest all kids going through puberty puberty from like eight till now like 20s uh because This is a this is a TV show about puberty. Yeah, it was in nine or two thousand seventeen. It's on Netflix, so it's a Netflix series. So like, you would actually have to have Netflix. But basically, anyone who's going through puberty, this is basically as close to real life puberty as you're gonna get. With like the hormone monster and all that. So. Hello. Oh, uh, good evening. Are you the puberty fairy? Fuck! Did you just go? And yes, of course. Um, there is language. Um. Again, like. There, the rating. Is, what was the, even the rating on? I think it's PG, like PG or, or something. Just parental guidance. So like watch, uh, watch with your parents at your own risk. I mean, it's kind of weird watching it with your parents. Even though they know exactly uh, everything too. But this show basically explains it all without explaining it all kind of thing. It's, it, it, it's. It's like subtle hints kind of thing. Call me the puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster. I'm just here to give your friend a nocturnal emission. <laughs> How come in all these videos, puberty for boys is like the miracle of ejaculation? <laughs> oh no, that's the most I've ever made. And for girls, we're just a yarn ball of aching boobs. So yeah, you can see the kind of comedic value that they're trying to spin on it, but it actually like, it's actually like, like that's exactly how it, it was. So if you own Netflix, if you don't own Netflix, I suggest you get it uh, and watch this show because yes, it does swear yes. It does but this is 
you're going to hear it in school anyway uh, for uh, those of you that are still in school and then people like me just watch it because we get it we understand all that and but there's a lot of people that don't understand it because they they never actually felt the pain that these kids or us kids uh, at that age felt because they were pampered like school division staff attendees whatever uh, were and then this so like it's it just like watch it but uh, yeah don't don't like start mentioning it uh, all across the keep it to yourself kind of thing um, unless like I know kids will talk to their friends about it and stuff and and pa and kids will talk to parents or whatever uh, just watch it so that you can act it's more of a learning thing uh, for me for me it's not and for me it's because I like I say I get everything that they're talking about uh, and then Jesse there the, the, the red-headed girl uh, right here that girls are just gonna uh, has like a depression kitty like no the parents there the the character's parents cannot see like the hormone loss or the depression kitty uh the 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 um, guilt wizard or uh, the men and then the, now they have like the menopause um, uh, uh, witch or whatever uh, uh for like their the the mothers now are starting to get in the, the show are starting to get into menopause so now they have the menopause switch they're in season three and this is a very awesome show like so like i say some people are watching it for learning purposes some people are watching it for the comedic value more it's me it's like the comedic value and i get it i like i get what they're like especially the men are going through and I learned about what the women's problems are uh, already but it's it's just and it's just what yeah it's just I don't know what I'm saying here I'm probably digging myself in the hole I'm sorry I apologize but uh, yeah that's the last one on my list so um, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.